हेलो वेलकम टू दिस फ्रेश न्यू सीरीज कॉल्ड द क्वाड्रन जहां पे हम लोग चार फ्रेश नए पर्सपेक्टिव आपको लाएंगे अबाउट द मार्केट्स एवरी सिंगल वीक एंड सो टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद वीव गॉट आर्यन हुल शेयर फंडामेंटल व्यूज राइट बिफोर द बजट आफ्टर दैट वी हैव शांतनु जोशी जिसको हमने पॉडकास्ट पर भी लिया है एंड ही विल शेयर हिज व्यूज ऑन द जनरल एक्सपायरी सेंटिमेंट्स एंड सच देन यू विल फाइंड माई टेक्निकल व्यूज फॉलोड बाई यू आर हु विल शेयर हिज डेटा ड्रिविन इन साइट्स इन दिस वीडियो इट सेल्फ सो do stay tuned till the end and i hope you like this new series hi everyone i'm arun chandani i write on a finance newsletter called manifest wealth and today i'm very happy to share my market outlook for the year now before we continue this is just an educational opinion and it may act your investment process and i would love if it could but at the same time do consult an investment advisor before making any decisions now coming to the outlook for the year let's begin with inflation inflation right now for the past two months november and december has been between 2 to 6% which would mean that rbi may be no longer feel the need to hike rates and it may also reverse the monetary policy uh, in the latter half of the year that could bode well for bonds and as such debt could be a good investment for this year as well as right now because the yields are pretty high one could uh, lock in them and one ID should also be preparing an emergency fund if they're worried about a recession. At the same time, let's come to equities. Now, equities have uh, delivered a positive return for the past seven years. If you look at Nifty Fifty, now that's a good thing. Uh, however, at the same time, that has caused uh, Nifty's valuation to reach an alarming rate. Right now, it's well above four uh, price to book value, and that's on the higher end of the conference interval for the valuations. Right, generally, the average for the past decade has been about three point six. Now. these are signs that perhaps equity won't do well this year however it's tougher to say that because uh, you know markets work on their own so right now what would be ideal is to look at a few sectors that could do well now the few sectors that could do well seeing as the pre election year as well as the fact that there was a tightening earlier uh, in the past year we could see some money being injected by the government in infrastructure and as such infrastructure and allied sectors could do well for this year So all in all, I feel that uh, for the year in equities, you could probably see infrastructure and cement sector as possible bets, and I think those could do very well for the next one year and the next latter quarters of the year. And at the same time, perhaps debt would out from equities. At the same time, I think it would be very wise if somebody is continuing as IPs recently has started their journey. They would probably be much better off just continuing their IPs, raising the equity percentage of their portfolio. right uh because if you have recently started it chances are you have not reached an optimal asset allocation just yet and the fact that it may be a bad year for equities uh could be a great time to invest and accumulate right because uh what ends up happening is in essence of capturing these small moments for the year uh we may incur large costs and even taxes at the same time and whatever little alpha that you may have created would not work much better to just stick to your own asset allocation continue investing and don't deviate from the plan that's my market outlook for the year and i think i'll be following that as well continuing my sps you know the month of january has been super volatile for option sellers due to the low wicks environment india wicks is currently trading at 15 levels the movement isn't much when we compare the spot to india wicks levels but the premium behavior is at its peak the second week of january has been super volatile As we can see in this 15 minutes chart, the Bank Nifty has tested 41,800 levels multiple times, and also in last week's expiry, we saw a 20 rupees option go to 200 plus. From a seller's perspective, in the coming week, uh, week's expiry that is on the 19th of January, and also in the monthly expiry, one can work with 41,000 and below puts in the monthly expiry. Last month's high, as we see in this. monthly chart has been around 44250 uh yeah 44150 approx and one can work with 44500 and above calls in the monthly expiry but in the weekly expiry one can work with 41500 put and 43100 call as 43 43000 level will be acting as a resistance in the coming weeks expiry one can also refer opstra for the trade and one can generate up to 2.67% without hedges on a deployed capital of 140000 one 
one can sell 43 100 call at 74 and 41 500 put at 73 and manage this trade if the view goes wrong all right, so we can see that Nifty has given a close of 17,956. We can see that overall this is right above the support zone which we saw here, which is a good sign. But when we have this 18,120 to 18,200's zone, until we actually clear this, I don't see Nifty really uh, bringing in that same amount of momentum and energy that we have been seeing uh, before. Because if we can see that the sentiments have been hampered every single time ये इलाके के आसपास आता है and I don't think uh, unless that level is broken Nifty उतना अच्छा कर पाएगा so let's see अगर वो होता है in fact अगर हम देखते हैं right now SGX Nifty does appear to be a little bit uh, promising at least as of now 18,058 पर है which means that maybe अगर हम लोग Monday का open expect करते हैं it might be somewhere around here तो अगर हम लोग वही चीज intraday chart पर देखते हैं five minute chart पे then we can see this is how Nifty has basically moved हम लोग ने हमारी थर्सडे के लाइव स्ट्रीम में बात की थी हाउ देयर इज अ चांस अराउंड हियर दिस इज द थर्सडे लाइव स्ट्रीम हाउ देयर इज अ चांस की निफ्टी फिर से शायद ये वाला जो हमारा 740 का जोन बनता है मे बी विल रीटेस्ट दैट लेवल एंड देन इट विल गो हायर वेल हम लोग ने समथिंग सिमिलर टू दैट देखा कि निफ्टी ने एक्चुअली ये रेड जोन ऑलमोस्ट टच किया एंड आफ्टर दैट निफ्टी वेंट अप ब्रोक दिस 17930 लेवल और उसके ऊपर ही क्लोज किया ऐसे सपोर्ट लेके व्हिच इज इन माय व्यू एट लीस्ट एन इनिशियल पॉजिटिव साइन कि एट लीस्ट स्टार्टिंग में निफ्टी ऑलरेडी थोड़ा सा प्रॉमिसिंग साइंस दिखा रहा है एंड मे बी इफ वी सी दिस लेवल होल्डिंग यू नो देन इट माइट बी अ गुड साइन सो एज ऑफ नाउ ओपन इज एक्सपेक्टेड समवेयर इन दिस रीजन अगर एसजीएक्स uh, के हिसाब से ओपन होता है देन दैट माइट इट्स मीन कि uh, अगर इनिशियल वीकनेस ये लेवल या ये लेवल को होल्ड कर पाता है देन इट माइट बी अ गुड साइन ऑफ कोर्स द अपसाइड माइट जस्ट बी लिमिटेड एटीन वन ट्वेंटी और एटीन टू हंड्रेड के जो लेवल्स हैं वहाँ पर सो दोज विल बी द लेवल्स जहाँ पर मैं uh, बहुत कड़ी नज़र रखूँगा इफ वी टॉक अबाउट बैंक निफ्टी हियर विल जस्ट क्लिक ऑन बैंक निफ्टी और हम लोग यहाँ पर देख सकते हैं ऑन द डेली चार्ट बैंक निफ्टी भी यहाँ पर सपोर्ट के लेवल पर है एज वी हैव डिस्कस बिफोर ऑल्सो फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटी का लेवल काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है बैंक निफ्टी के लिए एंड वी कैन सी इट हैज ऑल्सो हेल्ड अबाउट द प्रीवियस टू डे हाइज विच मीन्स की बैंक निफ्टी में एक्चुअली थोड़ा सा मोमेंटम आ रहा है If we talk about resistances, then maybe this zone here around 40 to 700 might be an important resistance. So, वो level के आसपास I would say ध्यान देने की ज़रूरत है. If we do look at the intraday chart, तो हम देख सकते हैं that this is what things are looking like. 40 to 700 coming in somewhere around here, which is the resistance level. और हम लोग देख सकते हैं somewhere around here is the next sort of area जहाँ से Bank Nifty is trying to you know sort of fight through and make its way through. और ये हो जाएगा एक और सपोर्ट सो दिस वुड दिस इज लाइकली टू बी द जनरल सॉर्ट ऑफ रेंज एंड सेंटिमेंट अराउंड अगर हम लोग बात करते हैं ओवरऑल व्यू की देन वी कैन सी दिस इज द सेक्टर्स ऑन द फ्राइडे क्लोज दीज आर द ओवरऑल ब्रॉड मार्केट इंडाइसिस पॉज करके देख सकते हो माई बैड और हम लोग देख सकते हैं दैट विक्स इज ऑल्सो डाउन फाइव एंड हाफ परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट तो लेट्स सी हाउ थिंग्स शेप अप आई होप आपको ऑलरेडी इतने व्यूज uh, से ज्यादा इंसाइट्स मिली होगी एंड आई होप दैट यू विल एंजॉय यू आर डेटा ड्रिवन इंसाइट इज वेल वेलकम टू दी डेटा ड्रिवन एनालिसिस ऑफ निफ्टी एंड बैंक निफ्टी फॉर द वीक एंडिंग थर्टी वन थर्टींथ जनवरी और निफ्टी खत्म हुआ सत्रह पे बैंक निफ्टी फोर्टी इट वॉज An increase of 0.54 on Nifty and 0.43 on Bank Nifty. पिछले हफ्ते के हिसाब से it is there is an improvement definitely after Nifty and Bank Nifty both have uh, hit the uh, swing lows uh, so to say uh, for this uh, week and the earlier week as well. और मुझे ये लग रहा है कि ये अगर सत्रह हजार 800 का लेवल बहुत ही क्रुशल है निफ्टी के लिए और 42,000 का लेवल बैंक निफ्टी के लिए और अगर ये लेवल ये दोनों इंडेक्सेस तोड़ देंगे तो बहुत ही बड़ा सेलिंग प्रेशर आ जाएगा वी आर आल्सो अप्रोचिंग स्लोली द बजट यूनियन बजट व्हिच इज शेड्यूल्ड फॉर फर्स्ट ऑफ फेब्रुआरी सो इंटरेस्टिंग टाइम्स अहेड सर्टेनली इंडिया विक्स सरप्राइजिंगली कम हो गया है पंद्रह के नीचे जा चुका है तो ये थोड़ी सी पॉजिटिव एक्सपेक्टेशन दे रहा है कि निफ्टी मे हैव जस्ट मेड द बॉटम एंड बैंक निफ्टी टू एंड वी मे सी 
you know upward movement but as long as uh, nifty is trading below 18200 and bank nifty is trading below 43000 in my view the sentiment is going to be sell on rise kind of thing ye dono ne ye do level jo 18200 ke trade to hi kuch baat ban sakti hai union budget ke expectation mein nifty ki scx nifty reading hai positive 20 and uh, that is it from my side uh, ha fis ne or dis ne kafi jordar selling or buying ki hai respectively uh, but agar aap dekhenge to fis ne sell ki hai 9600 crore uh, dii ne buy kiya 10000 crore so just net net 400 crores ki uh, buying hui hai and that is why scx nifty is only positive 20 doesn't know which way to go it, it will all depend on which way the market is going to move when the buyers and sellers come back after uh, flying the kites on uh, the on account of makar sakranti and a uh, lot of other festivals that uh, went by during this weekend that's it from my side and please do let me know whether you like data driven uh, section of this new quad show or any other section i wish you well stay tuned with us for uh, greater insights and uh, wish you happy learning happy money making thank you very much